We're doing uh, actually going to be a multi-year food security project with our intermediate students. We kind of started off the students with a guiding question with how are we going to feed the community and my students took it with an introduction of how can we be part of the solution to food inequality in our community. So my students have started with proposals. We have things like um, some of them are growing fruits and vegetables uh, to donate to the food banks or to our uh, school uh, lunch program. Others are going as far as to, to create a book or an organization that will teach low-income families um, the most concise ways to grow food uh, in their home to supplement uh, their groceries. Once they've, they've completed their proposal, they're actually going to go through with it. So we'll be growing the, the foods in the classroom. They'll be learning how to grow it. They're researching. Um, they'll be actually donating their food to their organizations of choice. And they'll be just going through with their proposal this year and they'll continue into next year. When we first started meeting for this project, I was very apprehensive. I found that I couldn't see it. I couldn't grab it, like touch it, and, and see very hands-on what it's going to be. It felt like ideas up in the air that I couldn't really put down into lessons and thoughts and that sort of thing. But as we're going through this, I'm finding that well, A, I'm finding places in the curriculum to attach it to because my students are doing science and uh, systems in action, so food systems. And how do we create these uh, systems to grow for the community and for our school? So we're starting to see it hands-on. The kids are getting very excited. The kids are coming up with some really great ideas, which is, is fantastic. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a lot more confident about it, but it takes a little while. When they came back from our first field trip at Sir Guy, they all got little kale plants and like seedlings. And the, our class put it all near the windowsill and really took care of them. Now when they noticed uh, the grade sevens class, they had grow lights for their little seedlings. And then them noticing the difference was really, really interesting. And we're just in the beginning of this whole uh, project. So it's really fun to see them like uh, passionate about something. The hope today is that we've connected kids to food, that they can see where it comes from uh, and get a greater appreciation of what they can do to increase their food security and the food security of others. There's so many ways that like, are new really to grow plants, like hydroponics specifically. It seems so interesting. Um, I want to bring back knowledge on how to grow things like um, fruits, vegetables. Something that I learned today is like how an op not exactly, but like a tower, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but like a tower like how those work to keep the plants alive and how they get water onto the plants every 15 minutes, like an hour. I truly believe in this kind of teaching. I think experimental learning is something that should be done in all classes and all schools. It really engages not only students, but also as a teacher, I feel like I'm more engaged. I'm more as not necessarily standing up there talking about information, but more so as a facilitator to guide my students through this process. The kids really enjoy doing it. They're often asking, when are we working on this? When are we growing? We've got kale growing in our classrooms already. We've grown mushrooms already in the class. And they kind of have an idea and they see wow, this actually yields something, this actually does something, so now what do we do next with this? And that's kind of where we're at at this point. And from there, the teachers have really taken it upon themselves. They've become excited to teach. They've become in part, working in partnership with the students, which is really nice to see. It, they're not up at the front talking at the students. They're working with the students. And we're seeing the students come to school excited for learning. We're seeing the teachers coming to school excited for learning. We're seeing the parents of the community really excited to see where this project goes. I think it's lovely to have a school step outside of the classroom walls into the community to learn as well. I think there's a lot of value here. Enthusiasm is super high. I actually had a group of students come to me and tell me this was the most fun they've ever had with a, pro a project in school ever. I really believe that uh, it makes them feel empowered and some of my students have come from places uh, all over the world where maybe food isn't 
readily available. So this may give them the tools and maybe the confidence that they know they can feed themselves if need be.